Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to see how to implement the React Redux library in a React application. Here, this is a this is the sample of this is the new project that we have created, Redux Post App. So from now onwards, we will working on this Post App only. So getting the post, deleting the post, adding the post, everything we will do this one using the Redux uh, Redux library. Now let's try to open this one so here what i am trying to do is first i am i am installing npm install redux so uh, in order to work the redux in a react application we need to install the redux redux is compulsory so uh, along with the redux if you want to use the Re react redux library then you need to install the react redux also both are compulsory so both are needed so if you uh, you can't think that you can you can install only the react redux library so that the Re redux will work so you need to install the redux also let it install the redux and it has been installed now what i will doing is i am installing the react hyphen redux so i am installing the react hyphen redux also so before that while installing what we will try to do is so here i am creating a new folder components and in this components what i will try to do is here i will be creating new uh, sorry new folder that is header and another one will be the new folder that is post so these are the two folders i am creating and here i will be creating header.js and he, for the post i will be creating post.js so these are the two for two files I am creating. So for for the timing, what I will try to do is so in the header export default function. I am you I am creating the header here. So you will be getting the props. And here what I will try to do is so here I will return view. So this is the header component. Okay. So Future on we will, de we will design this header component. So now what we will try to do is so here this is the post component. So here wa what I will try to do is I will create a class component. First we will create a class component and then after we will create a functional component for accessing the React Redux. First we will check the class component extends component and in this one I will be having the render. In this render what I will try to do is I will try to return div post component so this is the post component and here this component we need to put that's it so here we have created a header component and we have created the post component in the app.js what i will try to do is here i will be removing one all and here i will give the container and the px-3 mx auto so by the way i am using the tailwind css for the css thing so here what i can do is so here we will be having the header so here this is the header and here this is the post okay so we have added the two components headers and the post okay we have not exported this one export default post i can use this export default post and here i can add this post yeah post so i have added the header and i have added the post here so now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output now if i try to see the output so if i refresh this one what is yeah i am able to see the header component and the post component so now first let's try to design the post component so here if we try to see here the redux and the react redux library both are installed so first what we need to do so if you go to the react redux here so react redux if you go here now if i try to open this react redux thing if I go to the get started and in this get started we have installed the first step and what is the second step they are telling so please add the provider in the root of the application okay fine let's go and here in the index.js so we need to add the root of the application so here I am adding the provider or otherwise you can add it inside the react strict mode provider so this is the provider so the provider need to be imported from the react redux you remember that the provider need to be imported from the react redux so here if i here ported provider from the react redux 
So now we need to give the store here. So let's try to create the store. We don't have the store. So I am creating a new folder store here. And first I am creating a file store.js. And in the store.js, we already know that export constant store is equal to we will be using the create store. Right now, we don't have any red user to send it to red user, we will keep it like this only. And in the index.js, we need to give the store store is equal to so here I can add the store. Now I have added the store so that the store will be available to the entire application. So previously, what we have did so we have imported the store in every component. But here at the at the top top component uh, the root of the application we are giving this. This is the React Redux so because of the best architecture. Now in the post, now see uh, store we have added. So let's try to create a red user first. So what I will try to do is so here I am creating a folder that is red users. In this red users I am creating post post red user dot js. And we already know that red user is a pure function. Post red user, right? So post red user, and this takes the two are two parameters. That is nothing but the state and the actions. State and the actions. And here we need to initialize the state. Initial state is equal to first. I will be having the post. So this could be an array of object. Okay, and here I will be having id is equal to 1 title is equal to new title post title or otherwise post title and the description i will have something like description sample description okay sample description i have added the sample description so this is the first post and this is the second post let's assume so now i am adding id of title post title to this is a sample description to so these are the two posts what I will be having. Now what I will try to do is, so here <coughs> I will assign this one to the initial state and first in the first scenario what I will try to do, I will try to return the state, okay, that's it. This one is completed. So we have created red user and now we need to give the red user here. So post red user, so I think I didn't export it, export function here, export function is export default function right here i can add something like post red user so i have added the post red user so here if i try to see let's yeah let's try to import from Red users, post red user. Okay, here I can add something like post red user. Okay, so I imported the post red user. This is the thing. So now what I want to do, I want to access this post data in the post component. So how can I access this one? So here we need to create variable constant. We have seen right map state to props is equal to this is a function okay this is a function you need to remember that this is a function and here you need to remember that this the this, this variable i am declaring out of the class so i am not declaring inside the class i am declaring out of the class and here it will take the state as the parameter and here we need to return the object whatever the data you want to do you want to you want to get so you will be doing so here i will be adding post so here i will be adding state dot post Okay, so map state to props state state dot post we got it. Now what I need to do is so I need to pass it this uh, props to the component. So how can I pass through the higher order function? So that is nothing but the connect. So I will be using the connect. This should be imported from the React Redux. So here I will be using like this. Okay, so here first one will be the map state to props. We need to send the map state to props like this. And the return return value of this function is a function, and this function will take the parameter of the this component. Okay, so this is the architecture. This is the thing how we how we will be writing up. If you try to see here also, you'll be able to see the map state to props. Here they have given 
and we need we need to send it through the connect that's it now in order to access the data the post data here how can we access this one so here what we what i can do is so the post data we are sending that post data right so here i can add something like constant post is equal to it is an empty array and here i can write for let post of this dot props dot whatever the data we are sending through the map state to props we can access it we can access it using this dot props dot post here and here what i can do is post dot push of due and here i can write something like post dot title okay so we need to pass the key here as we are looping so here i can keep post dot id and here in this post component what i can do is here i can write in a such a way that h2 post okay here what i will do in the div i can write the post so i am adding this post. now if i try to see that output so let's try to check the output post reducer is not defined it is saying so yeah here i am able to get the post post here post title and the post title too so i'm able to display the data here what i will write is bold i will add the class name bold and also text hyphen lg so that it will be very bold or bold so you can add something like border also text hyphen folder will be creating remember try to see okay let's leave it like this so we will uh, see it afterwards now here i will add an hr link for the design that's it now if you try to see here we are able to see the post data so little bit of uh, uh, i will add some data here here i will be having one div here and i will show that i will add the description also here i will be adding the description i have added the description also so we are able to see description. what i will do is so here i can add something like class name is equal to flex okay here for this one i will add class name equal to so shadow border okay and also P hyphen P hyphen three is enough, I think. Otherwise, we can give the uh, what I can is MX hyphen three. Okay, so this is this. That's it. So we are able to see the data and also MT hyphen three. Want now these are the post data. If you want to, we can also give something like W hyphen one by three. 3 3 post we can show it yeah we are able to show successfully show the post data so how we are showing the post data we are getting the data from the store so from this producer so for example if i if i copy and if i paste it again or if i copy and if i paste it again here if i change it to id 3 so that id should be unique if i see here if i refresh here the data we will be getting is the 3 so we are getting the data from the store so how we are accessing this one so using the react redux using the react redux we are able to get the data from the store so by the previously what we have did so we need to use component did mount and we need to get the state and we need to uh, store it in the what we can say state data like that we need but here is using the react redux it is simple that we will be sending the whatever the data you want to get from the store for this component so you will be sending the data as a props as a props to this component so that the store data whatever the thing it is necessary for this one we can access it through the props here so this is the main advantage of the react redux so here what we need to remember and you need to remember that in the index.js you need to give the provider store is equal store just like the browser router how you will be giving same scenario you will be giving okay this is all about the, the general introduction of the react redux so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you